Sometimes the GN9125 doesn't operate correctly with the GN1000 remote handset lifter and or there's just no audio going through the headset. If you take the headset out of the base and the remote handset lifter lifts, but then you go to push the multifunction button to make it go back down, or if you take the headset and then put it back in the base, the lifter stays in the uh, upright position. Now this can be an indication of the base in the wrong programming mode. This applies to the 9125 and 9120 EHS versions only. Now the way to check programming mode is to hold the two outside buttons on the headset until you get a rapid flashing light in this area of the headset. Once you have that, then look on the side of the base to see which icon is steadily highlighted. When you're working with the GN remote handset lifter, GN1000, you want the GN9125 in RHL mode, which is indicated by the link icon. This is a circle with two parentheses on either side. Now, if you're working with the electronic hook switch adapter with an electronic hook switch compatible phone, you would want the mute icon highlighted in programming mode, indicating DHSG mode. So let's push and hold the plus and minus volume buttons on the headset watching for programming mode light. That'll be up on the top right here. There it goes right there. You might have to move the microphone to see it, but if we take a look on the side here, the mute icon is highlighted, which is indicating uh, DHSG mode. So if I hit the minus volume button, I can toggle through all four of the uh, all four of the icons. I could also hit plus and toggle the other way. Because we have the mute icon highlighted, I just want to hit the mi the minus volume button once to get it on the link icon. Once it's on the link icon, then we're going to wait. The headset will turn itself off and then turn itself back on, flash three times, hold for three seconds, and then go back to flashing green. Now that it's in the right mode, we can take the headset out of the base and press and release the answer in button. The remote handset lifter goes down. We push it again, the remote handset lifter goes up. Also, the audio will work through the headset now.